What's up guys, welcome to another FTV video. Today we're gonna actually do a pretty fun video that me and my girl, Aww. her name is Tanya. Um, we came up with like six different things. So basically three uh, things that she likes and then three things that she dislikes. She has made a list basically in her own mind. Like I don't know anything yet so far. So I'm curious as to what she does like and what she doesn't. Um, You're gonna hate me. <laughs> So if anything you guys will probably catch a fight on this video but but yeah so we'll move on to that and hopefully you guys enjoy it something different from the uh, usual just like reviewing of cars and stuff like that if you guys like this though give it a thumbs up comment down below as well if there's hit any that bell. Don't hit that bell that. too yeah um but yeah comment down below as well if you guys have any other ideas that maybe like have anything to do with me and her that like you guys would like to know or like, maybe... a lot of suggestions yeah it doesn't always have to be cars but it could involve cars all right so to give you a general background she pretty much has no idea of anything to do with cars at all mm -mm. he's oh. the first car guy i've ever dated so this is all a new world to me so i'm just here trying to learn trying to be part of your community and then you know me, I'm the OG to the game. <laughs> uh, I've been a car head since like basically the day I was born, Jesus. back in 98, you know, VA. <laughs> it's like not. Nah. But uh, yeah, let's kick the list off. So we'll start off with the likes and then we'll leave the dislikes for last because I know that's what y'all been waiting for. Um, so yeah, let's start off with number one. The first thing you like about the car. Um, the first thing I like about both of your cars is the stickers. I've never really been in a car that has stickers, so it's pretty new, but I've enjoyed it. You know stickers have plus five horsepower, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. But yeah, um, the Civic has like maybe four stickers, I think. One, two, three, mm -hmm. three, actually. And then the Nissan at the time when it had the stickers on it, it had like four. But when I first started modding cars, the era when my Nissan had the tow hook, bad times, Devin took off the tow hook and I started to cry. Um, he mentioned that in a second video. Um, shout out to my boy. But um, yeah, I had like uh, at least like 10, 15 stickers, man. Like that was all, all over the car and it was just insane. And my car just looked like a like a, a driving Cheeto because the, the rims were gold and stock and yeah. gold tow hook. Don't do that. Um, I didn't even know that. Yeah, she wasn't. She was nowhere to be found. I didn't I even know her. I was not in the picture. Nope. No hate. It's just I didn't even know that. You didn't even tell me. Well, you learn something new every day. Yeah. All right. So, what's the second thing that you like about my cars? I really liked the tent on your Nissan. The tent on the Nissan was like a twenty percent. This one, I think, has twenty-five percent all around. I might be mistaking, but. The Nissan is darker because the car was black and like the interior, like I wrapped it black, like the whole uh, headliner, um, black suede, the armrest to put a lot of work into that car. But now it just sits, sadly enough. Um, let it collect dust, man. Yeah, it's just sits there now. But yeah, the, that car was darker. Cool vibes. No one could see anything. So if you're looking to be discreet and be, you know, when you're with your girl and times are times are hidden. You, this is I suggest. A family <laughs> channel. Oh my god. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Oh but yeah, my god. Ten, ten is good though. Ten is a good mod because it gives you privacy. I don't know if you heard that, but that was a, a pretty stand step for us. Every time he hears a car, he has to turn his head. Yeah, you like know. a dog does, like food. <laughs> you know, it's an automatic response. Um, but yeah, ten, ten. I, I kind of agree. It gives you privacy. Um, same thing. Cops are right next to you. They can't see inside. That's when you can just be like, "Yo, what's good?" Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Yeah. Tent. Tent. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Third thing that you would like about my cars that you would say. I guess it's just gonna like correlate to what I hate, but like I like the sound of this car. It's not too loud. You like the sound of this car? Yeah. Like the exhaust. This car doesn't sound like anything. Uh, we're, okay. curr we're, we're currently sitting in the Civic, in the Honda mm -hmm. Civic right now, and she likes the sound of this car. We're gonna just jump into the one of the things that I hate then to explain. Sure. Why? Uh, so 
One of the things that I hated about the Nissan, well, like, I'm not gonna say I hate like that, but like, I just didn't like was that it was so loud. So every time he would like, you know, do his thing, he would, it was so loud that I couldn't even hear myself breathe. And I exaggerated because there was moments where he was talking to me, and I didn't even know. And I was like, wait, you were speaking to me? I did not hear a single word you just said. Bro, you're exaggerating. <laughs> it was loud. You're like, right next to me. You could really I could hear not me. hear you. I couldn't, like, I, I didn't guess. even know. I it guess. was pretty loud, especially when you were in a tunnel, like, he would just do it. And I'm like, I, I can't even hear you if you were trying to say, you hear that? Like, no, I don't hear you saying that. I hear that, but not you. So that was one of the things, like, I'm like, I'm not used to it. So it's something where I was like, this is odd. I'm not feeling it, but... You know, everybody has their preference. I'm not gonna be here hating on it completely. I'm just saying, like, it was just too loud for me. I can't even hear, but he loved it. So I was like, what am I gonna do about it? There's nothing I can say. Nah, the Nissan sounded better than this car. It, yeah, in the, the same way. The Nissan, I deleted the resonator and the muffler. So it was pretty much straight there pipe, except I had the oh catalytic converter. That was still there because to pass emissions because of the smog test, but, um, yeah, the car was like pretty much straight pipe, and it had a 2.5 engine, so it was not fast. But, you know, small engines make a loud noise for no reason, but you don't have that kind of power. And obnoxious, that's how we do it out here in Virginia. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I think the Nissan was cooler. Uh, it sounded nicer, it sounded beefier, it sounded meaner. Um, every time you'd start it up, especially on cold, like when it was winter time, it would be really loud, which I like because you could wake up the neighbors, and that's the goal you were trying to go for. See, that's something that I can't do because I'd get the cops called on me in my neighborhood. So. And then the Civic, it, Devin, when he had the car, he just uh, deleted the rear muffler, and then he just put like a a, a 2000 SI exhaust muffler. I think. Don't oh, quote me on fine. that. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's what he did. But it still has the resonator, which I might delete at once on some point because this car is currently pretty quiet. Um, doesn't make much noise, and it only kind of does when my RPMs are at like 4,000, which I don't shift because I'm not a manual. But when the engine decides to go that high, it, it's, it's not that loud. It, kind of purrs like a little cat but like you know it it's it's still it's still pretty uh i mean pretty low. it'd sound nice if it was a little loud if it's just not too loud where it's you should give me the money to do that see your girl here just started working again because all i hear is excuses she's telling me to do something this whole pandemic providing. messed me up people like you know everybody out there is struggling well most people were struggling and now i just started back at work so we're not going to talk about that we'll talk about that in the near future okay give me your money no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the second thing you dislike? About, um, wait, second or third? <clears throat> so I said the first thing that um, I didn't like the second. Okay. Yeah. Um, your coils on this car sucks. Mm. Yeah. Like it's lowered. Like this is the lowest car I've ever been in, and even the Nissan didn't have that problem of like. Even when we go in a pothole, it just like bounces so obnoxiously. I'm just like, if you could, if you could see the video, it just bounced a little bit for no reason. I'm just like, why are we bouncing for no reason? I guess. That's the only. That's one of the main things. Where I'm just like. I mean, it's part of the aesthetic. Like, the only coilovers I think that don't bounce, which I, not sure. I've never owned a set, but I've heard they had good reputation on like the BC coilovers. Um, I'll put a picture up in the video. But yeah, BC coilover, they run for, they run you about for a thousand, regardless of the car make model. Um, normally they're like 995 or 98, which I don't know why they don't round it up to a thousand, but they're like five dollars off of a thousand. Um, supposedly it's like running stock OEM coilovers, like the, the Comfort, but just lower. Um, one day I'll probably buy a set once I buy a new car, which I hope uh, will be sometime soon. And if I do, I'll put a video out on that one. So stay tuned for the FTB channel for that. Um, but yeah, nah, I kind of agree in a sense. The coilovers on the, on the, on the Civic, they're TNs. Um, again, Devin pretty much installed that car. He pretty much did everything by the time I purchased it. 
I just like try to fix a lot of the issues because yeah yeah it was you're putting a lot of love into this car pretty bad of a car but besides the point you um yeah the the coils they do clunking so like when i turn all the way to the left or to the right it starts to go like bop 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 yeah. that's because the coil rubbers aren't like secured which i try to bolt down and tighten it up but they tend to move so every time it's moving it's just hitting the the little fender ring thing and it's just going bop 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 which is pretty annoying I'm not gonna lie and then as far as the bouncing thing goes I don't think it's that bad I think she's over exaggerating it's just because she's never been in a lowered car so she doesn't understand so I'm I'm literally gonna say it again I've never been in a modified car I've never dated a car guy so this is still a new world to me so no hate exactly but it's just it kind of gets annoying when he gets mad saying this or that I'm like but you like it so no not annoyed by you but it's just funny how you complain about your coils and then you're like man F the <laughs> but then one day you're like nah I like it I'm like what's going on here you remind me of me on my time of the month when I don't even know what I want anymore two different things <laughs> nah but I, I like the way the car looks it's getting there um he's doing a good job guys yeah I would, it still needs a lot of love but yeah. at that point I don't think I'll have the car anymore I'll probably just give it to my brother which at least you'll leave it nice for him yeah for his car, first car uh, it wouldn't be a bad uh a bad thing mm -hmm. but not not me man i'm trying to push like 300 wheel horsepower um yeah because i'm trying i'm tired of being slow man i'm trying to gap people oh, God. i gotta take on the gapple bees you know all right so what's the <laughs> last thing you dislike about my cars in general okay so it's gonna go towards this one but um, no hate towards you or Devin or I guess the previous owners before you two, um, the paint job. It's pretty messed up. And you explained in your last, I think your second video about this Civic. I think it was your second video. I don't remember. I don't remember guys. I think, yeah. I've no, been watching, no. but so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second, second. like he explained like, like typically this, uh, this year and this like, um, style of car had a recall or um, you know has a bad reputation for the paint so it's just the paint that's like oh it's kind of I'm surprised you remember that I kind of have a good memory <laughs> so like you know this type of car is gonna have that problem which you know it's no one's fault but I guess the manufacturers you know but you know what can you do you can only fix it up with some love and you know fortunately money so I'll go ahead and put a little clip of what she's talking about, all the clear coat damage that the car mm -hmm. has. clear coat damage that it has is pretty bad um it's like she said like a recall that they did on all 8th gen honda civics the sedans and the coupes from basically 2006 to 2011 yeah i, I thought about that year. they all like have that issue they did a recall at the time but it only extended for until eight years after the car was manufactured or purchase date basically and we're in 2020 so obviously i'm way past that line um yeah it's pretty bad I will attempt to fix the one on the trunk at one point to give you guys content because otherwise I wouldn't do it but I'll attempt that one because I feel like I can do it but as far as like doing the door and the actual fender and all that stuff uh, I don't think I can because that's uh, pretty big body panels and I feel like my paint job is not going to look that good it would probably be better off the way it is right now than like when I actually attempt to do that um but yeah uh that wasn't that bad of uh, three likes and three dislikes that no. you gave out. Uh, I mean, it might change with time. Like, as I'm learning and being with you, like, understanding how a Model 5 car works and how you do everything. Because I'm still clueless on it. The goal is to get her to drive a manual. The goal I is to get to. myself a manual first. <laughs> but. I want to drive stick so bad. Like, I've always wanted to drive stick as a kid. Like, ever since Fast and Furious came out and my parents introduced me, like, my heart goes out to stick. 
But unfortunately, this country sucks by having only automatic in certain places. Like, it's rare to find a stick these days. Now they're just expensive. Yeah, that too. Either they're expensive and new, or they're like old and used, but they need a lot of TLC. Mm -hmm. And nine times out of ten, it's probably not a good deal. Or it is a good deal. That's just well, because all yeah. people who drive manuals mm, that are well, around. Devin's, Devin's not old and he's driving manuals. No, he bangs car. <laughs> his gears, man. No hate to you, Devin. I love your car. I love the fact that it's stick. But <laughs> no, but that's what I'm saying. It's just like most most kids like us, like yeah. at least because I'm 22, and they they decide to bang gears and go ham at the engine, all of it. If you take care of your car, you, you can do pretty well, but I guarantee you about like 60% of us don't do that. We're just banging gears and trying to sound cool and yeah. yeah. But that's staring away from the topic at hand. Yeah, um, sorry guys. <laughs> but nah, uh, so there you have it. That was six things that she liked. And then six things that she... No, it's three things. I like three right, things I, made a mistake I don't already. like. Three things that she liked and then three things that she disliked. <laughs> um, but yeah, so make sure to like, comment, and... Subscribe. And then... Hit the bell to get notifications. Don't forget well. that. Thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. Um, but yeah, stay tuned to, to the FTB channel. I'm trying to bring more videos to you guys. Trying to remain consistent. I'm just trying to upload two videos a week. Um, if I can, at least once the minimum, but we're going in strong. I hope you like the quality of the videos that I'm providing you guys with. I enjoy making them anyways, so regardless of where we go in this journey. But that being said, I'll catch you all in the next episode.